Hi, so I'm going to explain um, how uh, one can use a Canon 7D for Magic Lantern. So in this CF card, I've downloaded uh, the latest firmware from the Magic Lantern site. And the way this works is the... Um, so what we believe, or what they believe, is that Canon put in a little, like, the bug flag in here. That when you put in a card, it looks at this flag. If it says true, it will load software from the card. And they believe the Canon technicians use this to check a camera. And then, so these hackers figured, oh, well, if I can load my own software, if they can load their own software, why can't I load mine? And that's what they do. So when you use Magic Lantern, you, the card has this little special like flag on them. The camera sees it, says, oh, I'm gonna load this software first. And it loads the Magic Lantern software. And then on top of it, it loads the built-in firmware of the camera. So that's how it works. So it only works if you have the firmware on the card. So on this card, there's a firmware, another card, there's no firmware. So if I want to run Magic Lantern, I just put this card in. If I want to run it regular, I put the other card in. So I put it in. Now, one thing to know is that sometimes the cameras freeze up in Magic Lantern. And when they do, you just have to just pop the battery and then it'll just it'll restart. I've had to do this, it's never been a problem with multiple Canon cameras that I've had. So I'm now going to um, turn the camera on. Let me uh, get in front of this and hopefully you can see this. So I turn the camera on. It's already on video mode. And it looks like, well, it's because I have it on video mode that you're not seeing that. But if I press this, there you'll see the Magic Lantern firmware. And uh, so if I want to now go into this, I guess the Q button. Okay, so now here's the modules that are loaded. MLV Lite, MLV Play, those are the Magic Lantern video. So the, you need to load those to run the video. And then once those are loaded, I can set the video, you know, the, the aspect of the resolution that I want, any movie tweaks, the, 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 um, the frames, the frame, uh, whatever. <laughs> if I set the frame rate, so I'm gonna set this to, um, ah. I haven't used this in a while. Uh, um, now I'm going to set this to, oops, okay, so it's Q. I'm going to set it to, to 24. So now it's going to do 24 frames per second um, to get out of here. Um, let me just see, it looks too bright. So I want to set it on like a 50th. So now I'm going to put this down to F13. And now I'm going to hit play. Oh, sorry, I'm going to hit start record. You see the little prepare thing? Now you see the green thing, one, two, three. It's now recording um, a raw video. And recognize that it's doing this at um, uh, um, four gigabytes a second. And you can't really autofocus with uh, Magic Lantern. You just need to focus it yourself with your, uh, your manual focus. So uh, let me get in front of this. So there you have it. I'm now shooting the uh, my C100 in my studio. I'm at 36 seconds. Now going around my studio. Okay, I'm going to bring it back. Uh, hopefully this is focused in and now I'm going to hit stop. And it'll take a little bit to write it to the file. And we should be done. And now I'm going to take this file. Um, uh, uh, and open it with uh, an application that can read Magic Lantern raw file. Then we we'll want to um, basically uh, do the dark mark work on it because remember these are 24 raw frames a second um, and uh, then I will export it, it will transcode it into a, a deep or, you know, format that one can work with ProRes or, or whatever and um, that's how it works. I'm pretty much a software here, although I think you'll end up using MLV app, I'll just put what it, it's sort of like the, to me like the utility knife for all raw. Uh, so um, I sent, I'm going to send, uh, give you a, you know, notepad of stuff.
<laughs> Sorry, some notes on some links and things. So we go to Magic Lantern form. So the way Magic Lantern works is some of you start a subject and then oftentimes the beginning stuff is useless and then it'll go down pages and pages and pages of um, of stuff. Magic Lantern form can be mind-bogglingly um, frustrating to find things. So here, this started in 2013 and the last post, right, is, uh, you know, which is March, right? <laughs> so... And here somebody puts in like the download location again because through these threads people lose track and they don't know where did he get that where was that what page what date <laughs> it's just a world on its own all right this wasn't even here yesterday what was it, march 11th oh, no, i guess it was okay so we go here and um so you say you have a, a windows so i'm gonna get the latest windows which is here um and I'm going to copy that over. Show in folder. So I'm going to take that. You see, I already downloaded it yesterday. And I'm going to put it in your, uh, in the ML software for Max as a zip file. And um, so that's now on the CF card. Um, and it, you can just copy the whole directory and it'll run from, from where it's at. I already have it set up on my computer to um, they'll automatically open the file. So when you shoot your um, your video, okay, well, I deleted it off the card, but it would be in this ML file. Nope, so it wouldn't be in this ML file. It would be in the uh, DCM file under 100 USD. So it would be here. Okay. So let's just pretend that you it's there, you've downloaded it. Um, okay, I'll put your files. Actually, I was just there. Okay, so here are the two files. Here's one, a really shot, short one I shot the day before yours, and here's the one I shot while yours. Now, when I double-click this, my computer already knows it's MLV, so I'm going to click it. And the way this software works um, is it'll just start playing it automatically. Just uh, fill the frame here. Um, is it filled? Yes. Okay. So, if you want to change like the um, the color spec, you can do that. You see up here, it'll say um, it's doing curves log C, C log. You know, you can just pick whatever you want. Four gigabytes a second. Um, let's turn this down here. Uh, so in the um, note file I'm going to send you, I have a bunch of the keys down here. So an important key you want to know is the W key. Like all Magic Lantern stuff, um, figuring out how to do something can be sort of a little time consuming and frustrating, but once you get there, it's very fast. Um, and the people who design the software generally are uh, super smart. But in this case, we need to press W. And now it'll give me the folder. And it's here that you'll pick whatever. You just have to go back and forth to whatever folder you want to make a conversion to. Uh, actually, I'll go in here and I'll change this to, um, I'll create a folder called um, movie, let's just say. And go here. 70, oh no, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, uh, where is this? Uh, my Maxotics, no, no, yeah, I want to be Maxotics Media. And then you can toggle this back and forth to ding, move, ding. So I want to create a move and I'm going to go for, I'll go for C-Log, sounds fine. Now when you add this to the export clue and hit play, it's going to convert this while it's playing. So now if I hit play, is going to go to the end, but now it's actually going to start writing to that folder an MLV file. Uh, so if I go, okay, so I converted it once, and well, I could try it again, and this is what we got. So <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> so you know, was it that clip? Is it the camera? Is it whatever? Anyway. Um, Hopefully it's just the um, 
MLV uh, that player thing again. It hasn't been updated in ten years. Um, when he designed it, it was raw. They were the MLV format wasn't there. Though I think it still should work in MLV. So I am going to have to download the MLV app and see if that will convert it properly. Okay, so I just went to the um, the MLV app and I downloaded um, this one. Uh, show in folder. See how what's in here. It's just like an install or a. It's weird. Wow. So it probably just runs from one directory. Uh, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to. Where should I put these? Um, Okay, I'm just going to put it in the um, in this folder. I'll move it to the um, CF card later. MLV app. Now, uh, th something you should know is um, FFmpeg is like the granddaddy. It's like again the utility knife from which almost 99% of all open source video editing is based on. So we're going to open the app here. Uh, okay, more info. Take my chances. Run anyway. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to open that file here. I've never used this software before, by the way. Uh, edit. Where is open? So. Um, Excuse me while I. Okay, import. All right. Okay, there we go. We want the second one. Okay, that's the file. So uh, I just want to quickly just um, save it. So export settings. We don't need ProRes 444. Four. Let's do 422 two, light. Uh, we'll be totally fine for what we're doing. Export the selected clips. Yes, yeah, correct. I want to create a movie. Again, I'm just learning this as I talk right here. And um, because it's using FFmpeg, it's opening up a command system window and it's hiding the command that it's sending it to. To it, but um, I'm not worried about that. And here we can see the uh, time it's taking. Well, okay, so um, my first export from MLV app did not work. It was the same problem. Um, it's just this jumping around. Now, you know, this is where, like, you know, if you have a sort of a been working with this stuff for a while, you, anyway, you, can, you know, some tricks or some difficulties. So uh, I went to the software and I had set up the, uh, it's a used Apple ProRes, but instead I picked, because I can see that there's some problem with the file, like there's a frame that's corrupted. And the problem with shooting raw, Magic Lantern raw, is it's basically just 14 bit words all strung together. So it's, you know, whatever it is, 1280 by 764, whatever it is, each frame, like if it's just off just by one bit, it can get screwy. So um, anyway, it didn't work with the ProRes, and then I decided, okay, well, I can I can play it. I don't see how I can play it in these raw software like MLV app or MLV viewer, and I can't convert it. So I decided I'd go with Motion JPEG. So Motion JPEG it actually is one of like the first video uh, compression codecs in a sense, and it's very simple. It just takes each frame, creates a JPEG, and strings them together. So it's like shooting JPEGs in your camera at 24 frames a second. But the good thing about it is there's no like temporal compression. It's not like looking ahead or looking behind and trying to figure out if there are no differences and to compress that. And that's how most videos compress. There are two types of compression. There's there's a spatial compression, which is the image itself. It's, it's taking the image and saying, oh, well, if this is all like white sky. We're not going to save that information. So you reduce the file size. Temporal compression is where you say, okay, well, I, 
I have this, let's say, say sky in this frame, and it's sky for the 20 frames. So I'm going to go tell each frame, don't compress this, just keep this, what I've already done. And then you get more compression through temporal, and you can look forward and look back. And this is, in a nutshell, why editing is generally so hard, because wherever you stop in a frame, it has to re um, recompose that frame using information before and back. When you go back and forth in the timeline, and it's, the computer's going crazy, like trying to like, I gotta go forward, I gotta go back, I gotta do this and this, you know, to, to, to give you a frame. Okay, sorry for that little tangent. So here I know, well, okay, you know, I know there's a problem somewhere, but it plays okay, it's not that bad. So if I just tell the, the, um, uh, the exporter that, no, just take each frame as you see it and just create a JPEG and string them together, that I should be able to get something. So that's what I did. I picked motion JPEG. Um, I did the export. Um, uh, save and quit. That's fine. Save and quit. Um, okay, don't save and quit. Uh, so here's that file. And there you can see it's, uh, you know, it plays fine. And this file, motion JPEG, you could put it in uh, Premiere or probably any other editor to work fine. So, um, yeah, so as far as I'm concerned, I think we're we're okay. Um, I'm not hearing audio. Maybe that was the issue. So anyway, that's that's how you use a uh, magic lantern with a uh, real life. You know, <laughs> something's not working. <laughs> so there you have it. Okay, thanks. Good luck.